Hi there folks, a little update on my weight shifting lures. Here's another one that I did. <coughs> um, you see that this one has a tapered head portion now. Has a nine lead bolts, 22 caliber inside. Um, one different thing I did with this is that uh, I made a little uh, the closure plug a little different to overlap the end of the plug here. Mm. This place is sketched uh, uh, dark here with a pencil. That's how far the plugs reach. And the screw eye passes through here. And uh, there. So it doesn't end, uh, reach inside of the ch uh, hollow chamber, the hollow bore in between. Um, well, just wanted to show this uh, lure. Now, I thought of turning, of the way how to turn these ones down. Here's another blank. You can see the closure plug overlapping here as well. Here and there. Um, this has the advantage of you've got more glue surf surface or to, uh, for the glue to bond. So um, I, I thought about how to furnish these plugs this way and I guess it's the best and fastest way. And you do it as follows. Right. Here you've got your piece of broomstick. It's untouched, never turned, just uh, cut uh, off with the saw and planed off here by grinding to get an even and angled surface either side. Um, now you uh, mark the uh, center and, and uh, furnish your bore in this broomstick piece. I start out with such a, no sorry the wrong one, this wood drill with the uh, center spur, I guess you call it Forstner bit, this is a uh, five, uh, 5 millimeters, after I extend the bore with such ordinary drill bit, uh, 5.5 millimeters and after 6 millimeters for the 5.5 millimeter uh, balls to fit. Anyway, so you first do this uh, broomstick piece or round wood dowel. Drill from either side to meet in center. That's the most accurate way. Don't know if you can see it. And you see the balls uh, pretty much well aligned this way. Of course it depends on your uh, working qualities really. And what I'm doing is, then I furnish, uh, after I did this piece, this uh, dowel with the center bore, if I finish it, I turn down the closure blocks from one piece. Looks like a uh, weight for workout actually. <laughs> um, that's what I do next. I uh, furnish the diameter accordingly to the bore to fit in snugly. So I have this piece now, and uh, I still got the uh, uh, the indention of the uh, left uh, center tips here, and the other side still got the marks of the uh, drive spurs of the turning uh, uh, of the uh, engine motor side of the left the spurs here, which uh, fix the wood to turn. And after I cut this thing apart to look like this. It was like this before. You still have to uh, uh, make your plugs uh, to the desired length, how far you want to reach, reach them inside of the uh, dowel centerpiece, as short as possible so that the balls will have a place to move. And then you just glue them together. I made the marking here, there, of course you would glue uh, one side, let the glue cure after filling your balls, and then glue in the second part. 
I'm using epoxy glue because it cures fast but still I wait for 24 hours. So this way now, one day after gluing the balls are inside and just then put two or three. So um, first I've, now you can put this thing back in your lab because you've got the uh, center indention here and there and it's all aligned to the central bore so you turn down your plug of course you would probably cut it off here and there later the outer portions they are the uh, wasted ends so uh, then it will come to look like this later see I think this is the most uh, easiest way and most accurate way to turn down these plugs. That's what I came up with and I just wanted to show you. Um, after you've turned down your plug, the next thing, if it looks like this, the next thing you would do is to uh, cut your uh, lip slot with a saw like this. I just fixed the, uh, the plug and the vise using uh, some uh, plastic or, or thick cardboard or balsa wood uh, protection on the cl uh, to clamp it, not to be squeezed. And then I carefully use this saw and cut the lip slot. I still have a bigger saw like this. This one I use for the starter slot, it's pretty thin. And the thicker saw I, I use it to uh, make the slot a bit wider for my lip uh, sh sheet metal for the lip to fit inside. And your your uh, slot, your lip slot, once you've done it, it will be the reference for the this uh, belly hook hanger, which I make of uh, one millimeter uh, sheet metal brass. So alright, turn down your, make it like this, glue together with the ball inside, then turn down your plug like this. Next step is cut the lip slot, preferably parallel to the wood grain, so that the uh, screws and the belly would go crosswise the grain later. It holds up better. Um, alright, turn it down, cut your lip slot. Use the lip slot for reference for the plane of the belly hook hanger and also if you want to do it like this to taper the, uh, the head portion of the lure, it's always the belly slot, uh, the lip slot, sorry, is the reference. You might as well put a longer piece of lip material in the slot so you can eyeball better to make, uh, put, uh, put the uh, the uh, lure blank straight in your vise to furnish the uh, the um, groove for the uh, belly hook hanger. Anyway, just wanted to show you. So I guess this way would be the best and easiest and fastest and most accurate way to turn turn down these plugs takes a little bit of time to make the two closure plugs because you want to go very accurate. You turn it down with the chisel, the rest you do with some sandpaper. Make sure you make the uh, make, make it right angled here so that it would sit reasonably snug here. A little slot of a few tenths of a millimeter doesn't matter really but uh, because the glue will fill it up. You can see the seam here and it's epoxy glue. Nothing's gonna happen. Um, one more thing is uh, round off the edge of the entry of the bore here because you would never get the, uh, the plug to accurate diameter right here in the corner. You know, that's why you need to round it off here that it will fit snug plane against plane here. There. Alright. 
So uh, this is the way I'm gonna turn out all turn down all my uh, plugs in future that feature this uh, internal weight system. I think it's the easiest and most accurate way. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Goodbye.